Hi guys, this is Jeff at Slayons Racing. This video is about a new product that a chair beast just came out with. It's called the Kignall Fork Saver. I have no idea what that name means. I've Googled it, came up with nothing. Uh, but you know, it fits in here on the fork. We've got a, a couple other of these uh, on our side as well that are a little, little simpler and uh, cost half of what this one costs. This is kind of pricey for this, for what it does. Now, this video, I'm not, I'm not debating as to whether you even need it or not. I mean, a lot of companies really put the, the scare, tax on, scare tactics on you, saying that, you know, if you don't have one of these, you're gonna blow your fork seals and your springs are gonna uh, prematurely collapse and all those kind of things. I don't know that I agree with any of that stuff, uh, but I'm not here to debate that. That's up for you to decide. Um, the guys who want to use them, this is a, a, a very good one, and I'll show you why here in just a minute. Uh, but if you don't want to use one, I'm good with that as well. And But I do think that they help stabilize the bike, uh, especially on um, open-air trailers, you know, just a three-rail trailer. I hate three-rail trailers. I've had problems before. I've had bikes fall off of them and drag them down the road and yada, yada, yada. Uh, Enclosed trailers are obviously much better. Uh, and I do think that these give you some level of safety because they make the bike more stable. And of course, there's other options. I mean, I'm sure guys are gonna post, oh yeah, I just cut a four by four and stuck it up in there, or a big piece of PVC pipe or whatever. Well, if you wanna use ghetto, things like that, that's fine with me, I don't care. I just don't care to have a big chunk of wood stuck on my bike, I think it, you know, I've got a, very expensive bike and I think uh, I can afford to have a fork brace if I want one. But I am going to give you the disclaimer that I do not use any type of, this is not a fork brace, that's what companies call them, but that's not a brace. Uh, I do not use a fork saver myself. Uh, I've got a kind of an unusual way to strap my bike into my truck bed uh, that makes it very stable. But they're a very popular item and I think that they do have a place. Uh, and if you want one, this is probably the best one out there. And the reason being is it's got this clamp on. One of the reasons is it's got this clamp on design here. So this, this part clamps onto your fork tube. So you just you know, slide in there, clamp it on. It stays in position while you're tightening the straps down. The other ones you have to kind of hold them here with one hand and tighten the straps with the other hand. Not that big of a deal one way or another. This just makes life simpler. It also makes sure that if the straps do come a little bit loose, it doesn't fall out, especially if you have a three rail trailer. You know, if it falls out, it's gonna bounce down the road, you've lost it. Uh, so for fork savers, I think this is the best one out there. It also comes with this device right here and um, you can grab it here and pull it out, but it's kind of sharp on the edges, a little hard on the fingers. Or you can just push it out from the back here. And what this does, this is kind of slick, is it slides over the end of the handlebar. And if you have uh, wraparound hand guards, uh, they've made it to where you can easily cut out this one little section here, then it will still go over the handlebar end. So like on an enclosed trailer, you know, it's, it's easy to have your bike bang against the side of the trailer, do some damage to your trailer, scratch it up, and also tear up the end of your grip. Uh, or if you've got multiple bikes in the back of a pickup truck bed, you know, they tend to, the ends of the handlebars always want to bang into each other. It will stop that from tearing up the grips. So this is just a grip saver. It just comes with one because there's typically uh, just one side that needs attention. And the reason I don't call this a brace like other companies do is it doesn't brace anything. Uh, back in the older days when we had just conventional forks, not upside down forks, like old XR600s, there were companies that sold a brace that did a loop up here and tied the forks together and made them a lot more stable because they were wiggly and wobbly from the factory. That's a brace. This is just a fork saver. It supposedly helps save seals, springs, uh, resolves stability issues, yada, yada, yada. And I'm not gonna debate any of those things. You can use one or not use one, I don't really care. Uh, this area here, there is a white graphic that fits in here, a decal, so you can write your name on it, you can write some snarky message on there, or something humorous, whatever you wanna put on there. 
<coughs> it's just another little blingy thing that goes along with it. But that's really all there is to it, guys. Uh, I believe that they're $25.99. Like I said, we've got a lot cheaper options if you just want a cheaper fork saver. Uh, but this is the top of the line when it comes to fork savers. It's just the easiest to use as the most bells and whistles and uh, functionality. That's all for now. And don't forget to join our YouTube channel. Like us on there and join us so that you get all of our latest videos. And uh, also get out and ride. That's all for now, guys. Thank you.